Oh, folks, sorry, Tracy. Yeah. Nothing's changed. Total energy. Let me hear it, yeah? Yeah. 100%. Nothing else. She used to take me to the park all the time. And she wouldn't really do much, but she'd, like, be a little cheerleader while I was on, like, the monkey bars. That was a lot of fun. So I'd be going along, and she'd be like, keep going, keep going, keep going. And I'd get to the end, and I'd, I'd feel so proud, because she was just there cheering me on. That was quite sweet. Um, we used to bake quite a lot together. We weren't very good. Basically, we just eat the batter. There'd never be enough left to make a cake. <laughs> She, she was really sweet, sweet to everyone. It wasn't, there was no one she didn't like. She would be terrified. She was very health and safety conscious when I was younger. I did so many clubs and she had to like check every single one. She would always be on the sidelines watching, telling the coach, you can't do this, she can't do that. But afterwards, she would be very happy for me. I think she'd be very proud. I'm quite a quiet person when I'm doing my day-to-day like, -day activities. I just kind of want to get stuff done. I do yoga twice a week, keep nice and flexible for it. The moment before my foot goes on the fire, I'll be doubting everything I've done up until that point. I'll be scared, definitely. But I'll probably be looking at either my dad or my grandmother, who I'll probably have forced to come. And I'll be quite happy to just go and just show them that I can do something that brave. I want you to come out of this stronger than you came into it. I want you to come out of this with a memory. I want you to come out of this, not just a memory of, oh yeah, doing that fun we had walking on a firewalk. I want you to come out of this absolutely feeling different. But actually, really think about for yourself, right? If there is anything in you, right? A doubt in you that's niggling away at you. If there is a, a, anything around your own self-confidence or something, any doubts that you might have that are kind of limiting you, right? Limiting you from having the experience of life you want to have or for being able to put yourself out in the world the way that you want to put yourself out in the world and therefore get back what you want. It's not about just walking over eight feet of coals, right? This is you walking away from all that stuff and walking into this new future. All you're focusing on is Tracy. Yeah. Nothing's changed. Total energy. Let me hear it, yeah? Yeah. 100%. Nothing else. Are you ready? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> 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 I did it! 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 I did
It was, um, he said, are you ready? And I just kept saying yes, 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 over in my mind. Um, that was actually really fun. It was hot and I could, I could feel, I could definitely feel the coals, but I wasn't thinking about walking on coals. I was thinking, I can do this, I'm doing it. Oh my God, it's over. Oh my God, I can't believe I did said that. <laughs> she would have been really happy. Beforehand, she would have been like, shitting herself. <laughs> no, she would, she would be so happy for me afterwards. That was so much fun.